Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's the Ice Tech Talk weekly live stream. Y'all know how it goes down on a Thursday night with your boy Ike. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Today is Pixel Day. Woo! Some people's favorite holiday. Pixels are now available for sale. Uh, no longer pre-orders. You can go in the store and pretty much pick any of them up. So shout out to Google. I was about to say shout out to Pixel. Shout out to Google for getting those out in everybody's hands. Um, everybody that I know pre-ordered, unless there was something wrong with, say, like FedEx or you know, UPS, everybody got there. So that that's always good, always A1. Again, shout out to Google for getting that all squared away because last year, pre-orders was an absolute nightmare. So shout out to them again for that. Man. But Let's go ahead and get into it. Obviously, you know the star of the show is definitely here in the building, and that is the Pixel 7 Pro in that oh-so-beautiful Jack Frost colorway, a.k.a. Snow, a.k.a. LaShawn's Hazel's cousin that looks better LaShawn will get that joke whenever he gets in here if he isn't all the way in here but yes the snow is in the building shout out to the good folks over at team pixel uh they did oh he's already on the case gang no 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 no, not at all uh but they shout out to team pixel they, they did bless your boy with a pixel 7 pro and the pixel watch as well so definitely stay tuned to the channel and make sure we get some content out for these two devices so should be pretty dope, but yes, I did go ahead and get my white beauty. This is like the precious right now. This colorway is so dope, man. Super, super dope. Super happy to be a part of and have the opportunity to, to like I said in my Pixel 6 video, um, provide them with some good criticism and some good feedback to make these products better. Um, I was just in a, 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 tw a Twitter space. Shout out to the homie Galen. Um, he hosted a Twitter space where, you know, just people from Team Pixel, people who got their, you know, orders in today were able to go ahead and kind of give some, you know, um, some Del, <laughs> Del Von, I saw your, your uh, message and it made me laugh. Uh, but yeah, but we were able to give like some of our fee feedback, you know, impressions and things like that. And yo, like it, Ramal kind of said it and we kind of ended on that, but he was like, it's so good to see so many you know even of the larger creators smaller creators whoever creators are creators but it's good to see them starting to finally give google their 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 praise right i'm not saying that this device is perfect there's still a lot of areas that i need to test and i know even when i do test it it's you know may not be the best on the market or whatever but as a complete package i, I think google's doing a fantastic job so shout out to everybody um, and not only giving it the positive, those who are giving constructive feedback as well, because that that that's always needed. So let's go ahead and get into roll call. Jason C's in the building. He said, what's up, my dude? Hope you're enjoying that Pixel 7. I sure am, my friend. I sure am. Umar's in the building. I know he's sitting over there trying hard not to unbox his Pixel. What's going on, man? Hope everything is good with you, dude. Brad as well. He said, Ike Frost in the house. You know it, you know it. You know what you know it. Hey, El Jefe, man, what's going on, dude? He said, let's go. You already know. You already know. Jeff, blessings on your day, sir. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Gary from Contractors POVs in the building, man. I know that you're trying hard not to be tempted, but all I'm saying is you know you want it, Gary. I, I know. You're, wait you're waiting for one of these that, that, that does that. I know. I'm waiting, too. But, you know, you can, you can pick one of these up as a placeholder, bro. I'm just saying. All right? All right. Oh, let me put this on. Actually, no, I'm not going to turn on Do Not Disturb yet. The missus is out with the little one. I'm going to make sure I'm available. Uh, Umar said, dang, already on that case game. Uh, yeah, right here. Rocking um, the Rinky Fusion Clear. Um, I actually have a video that's going to be coming out tomorrow. On the Rinky Fusion Clear, already shot today. Uh, so, yeah, already shot that. Just got to edit it and get it out there for you guys. But Case Journey is coming back with the Pixel 7 Pro. Um, I already have quite a few heavy hitters already shipped on their way to me. Um, just to kind of give y'all a few. Bellroy has already shipped. I'm, not, I'm buying all these, by the way. I'm not flexing like they sent it to me. Nah, I'm buying them. But Bellroy's on the way. D-Brand, I just got tracking, I think, yesterday. 
um mouse i think that that's how you pronounce their name but mouse that one i'm really excited to test that case i think that one might be like the one for me in all honesty this year but um mouse i have a case coming from them as well um, i want to say i ordered another magsafe case it's like a clear magsafe case oh turn on my flashlight my bad y'all um yeah, I think it's just a clear MagSafe case from Encase over on Amazon. So I went ahead and ordered that uh, too. So all of those cases, man, are going to be in. So we are going to have a hell of a case journey for the Pixel 7 Pro, man. But yeah, really, really liking it. So dope. So far, so good. My little one, he's listening to his white noise while he falls asleep. Y'all know how that goes if y'all have kids, man. Hey, Barry, what's going on, man? My snow brother from another mother. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, Malik, what's going on, man? Hope everything is good with you. Delvon said, what up, bro? Unofficially, Team Pixel in the building. Look, man, the way I see it, if you rock with Pixels, you like them, you you all for the cause, you are Team Pixel in my book. Regardless if they send you one of these or you have to buy one. Because if they wouldn't have sent this, I would, for I was definitely buying it. 110%. Especially with those trading deals. Those trading deals are fire. Yo, Migs, what's going on, homie? Hope everything's good with you, big dog. Uh, what do I think of the size of the watch? So I already was talking a lot about this on Twitter, man. I'm going to be straight up. Next year, Google, I'm having a conversation with you right now. Because since, no flex, but since it's, you know, Team Pixel, I know for a fact y'all are watching my content. Next year, take this same, same design, same design, right? Give me a bigger casing. You can keep all the internals the same. Give me a bigger casing, fill the rest of that casing with battery. Done. Um, I, that, that's literally it. And I'm sure if I could think of that, and I'm super slow, Google got engineers hopefully working on that. But for real, for real, make the casing you know bigger. This is a 41, give me maybe a 46, right? Or 45, and fill that casing with battery. Say, and, and, and I'm done, I'm good, I'm good. Every other aspect so far that I tested, I am on, I'm with it, I'm down. Uh, Mick said, is that an Oreo on your wrist? That, that's the, this right here, the Pixel. I'm going to name this one Venom. And this is Venom's, you know, little accessory. Got that Stormtrooper. You know how it goes. Oh, what would have been dope? I just thought about it. If the power button, they would have gave it a hit of black. Oh, man, that would have been fire. Or the silver to match the, the camera cutout for your Pixel. I don't know why that just came to my mind, but that would be dope. Hey, Renz, what's going on, homie? Hope everything is good with you. He said, hashtag team, buy your own pixel. Ain't nothing wrong with it, dog. Because I almost I almost traded in my um regular pixel, or regular, my Pixel 6 Pro and, and got a, another 7 Pro because I wasn't sure what color they were going to send. Because I wanted the snow, the snow, the snow, and um I was going to try to have the missus try out a pixel this year and see what she thought. But they, they sent me the color I wanted, so I was good with that. Hey, Malik said I got my gray and gold pixel. That's what's up, big homie. Hey, Umar said not doing fine. That Pixel 7 Pro with them beautiful 512 gigs is tempting me up right now. Hey, man. School work, bro. Finish, some, finish that school work. Finish that school work first, dog. Y'all coming in crazy. Typing on my Pixel 7, a.k.a. Black Panther. Let's go. Come on over to the dark side. <laughs> Johan, what's up, man? Hope everything is good with you, yo. Hey, Gary, I know. I've, I've been I've been watching your tweets, dog. And I'm like, you know what, Gary? Go ahead and buy yourself that Pixel, sir. Go ahead and buy that Pixel. Hey, Genosis, right back at you, homie. Right back at you. B. Floyd's in the building. What's up? What's up? Hope everything is good with you. Hey, just finished the unboxing. That's what's up. Can't wait to see your content, Delvon. You're going to love it, man. You're going to love it. And I know you be saying you don't use your 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 zoom lenses and all, man, bruh, you better, cause your our your normal photography is fire, so you better be using all the cameras on this bad boy, dog, for real, for real. Give Ike the Pixel Ultra, yeah, the Pixel Watch Ultra, I would buy it in a heartbeat. I would buy it in a heartbeat. B Floyd said forty four millimeter would be good. Uh, forty six is pretty big. What size is the Galaxy Watch Five Pro? What is that, 46? My bad, y'all. I know my arms is in the way. Typing. Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Uh, Why can't it just tell me, like, straight up? 
Okay, so the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro is 45. Yeah, I think I think 45 is would be perfect. With the size bezels of the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, I think that would be perfect. I think that would be perfect. Yo, Renz, y'all heard the man. Don't forget to hit that like button. Renz, appreciate you as always, man. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, 44 millimeters and make the screen size bigger. Facts, B. Floyd. Yeah, they could go 44 and then just stretch out the bezels to give you more screen. There you go. Um, Umar said, I'll get the Pixel Watch Gen 2 or something. Yeah, definitely, dude. Like I said, it, it don't get me wrong. The Pixel Watch, is, it's dope. It's absolutely dope. But the fact that it's going to be too small for some people and the battery life, I definitely understand people saying, you know what? I'm going to hold off for Gen 2. Because if Apple's coming out with the, um, the Apple Watch Ultra, Samsung has the uh, Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, you know Google's already cooking up whatever's gonna be their pro Google, you know, Google Watch. And it'll come with, you know, three-day battery life and all of that. This feels very similar to Pixel 6 Pro, like our Pixel Pixel 6 Pro. The Pixel 6 series as a whole, where it was like that device was kind of like the new starting point. This feels like a very good starting point. Next generation, I think, is where they're gonna kind of start trying to match people with battery life, you know, get more of those health features from Fitbit. Cause if I understand correctly, it doesn't have everything that a normal traditional Fitbit would have. So I think gen two of this is, is going to be legit fire, legit fire, but Samsung and Apple right now, in terms of battery life, they are doing the damn thing on them watches, man. Uh, Johan says, see the pixel watch actually looks good on your wrist. The size yeah, bro. I got real, I got small wrists, dude. Like I got pretty, pretty small wrists. So, yeah, I'm 5'7", maybe about 155 pounds or so. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pretty small dude. He said, I'm all about that Pixel life with the 6A. Yes, sir. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Just got my pops the Pixel 6 and he's loving it. Little spoiler for what, what I'm working on. I'm actually working on an interview. I'm gonna make, I'm, I'm gonna have him use the device for about two weeks or a month. And I'm, I'm going to interview him just to see what he thinks, the things that he likes, the things that he doesn't like, that type of thing. I think it should be pretty cool. I meant to do it with the missus with the iPhone because she was switching from her note, but I just never got around to doing it. Um, he said, I know I'll be done with my midterms at two tomorrow, but be at home by three. Yeah, that's going to be a tough wait, man. It's going to be a tough wait for sure. <clears throat> B. Floyd said, yeah, Galaxy Watch 5 is 45 uh, millimeters. Yeah. Google got my eyes wide open in, on the new camera improvements. I'll be shooting my clients with a smartphone. Hey, you, bro, I, honestly, I could give you a potato and you're going to kill it. So I'm not even tripping, dog. I already know the photos that's, that you're about to drop is about to be crazy. Funniest thing is, is like, in all honesty, in terms of like the quality of the photos, I feel like the quality of the photos is about the same as, as Pixel 6 Pro. I feel like what Google did this year was focus on the two other sensors. Like they focused on your ultra wide and your zoom and made those sensors. I mean, obviously not just as good as your main sensor. Your main sensor will always be your best, but they brought them more in line to make the overall camera experience more versatile, right? Um, up until this point, I always felt like the S22 Ultra was the most versatile camera set on any smartphone for the most part. Um, I'm not going to say that this is beating that in versatility, but I would say that if it doesn't beat it, I keep turning on my flashlight. Um, if it doesn't beat it, it is damn close. Like 10X optical, uh, 10X optical in the S22 Ultra and the 10X hybrid on this are, are I won't say that they're one to one. Obviously the optical is, is a little bit clear, right? But it is it is damn close. Like it is damn close. Like it's very impressive what they were, how far they're able to go, and how clear it is for it to be digital and hybrid. Yo, Ace is in the building. What's up, homie? He said, "What up, y'all? I thought my Pixel Seven camera app was busted. Nope, forgot to update. Yeah, it was kind of. I saw a couple people were talking about that, but there was an update waiting. So that's always nice." El Jefe, yes sir, yes sir. I took mine off the charger at. What time? Let me check my keep. Uh, I took mine off the charger 8 a.m. on both. So I took my phone off the charger 8 a.m. I did put my phone back on the charger a little bit. That's why I'm not talking about the phone. But um, the watch, I have not put back on the charger, and I'm at 47%. 
So 8 a.m. It is 916 right now. Um, pretty much pretty honestly, it's been pretty light. Like I um, whenever I'm on my phone, notifications don't come to my watch because obviously I'm on my phone. And then like my team's notifications. Yo, shout out to Drew for the light. Um, and with my uh, team notifications for work, if I'm on my desktop or my laptop, they don't come to my phone at all. Just kind of redundant. So it's been pretty light, honestly, with the Pixel Watch. And yeah, so this one is definitely, a, you're gonna charge it every day. You are going to charge this watch every day. And like I said, when you got Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and Apple Watch Ultra giving you three days, like three full days, and you're having to charge at the end of that third day, I mean, kind of a tough sell. Like you really have to be a, a Google Pixel enthusiast for this to like make sense, right? For you. I feel like every ecosystem has a dope watch. Like Google has their watch, Samsung, Apple have their watches. I really think Gen 2 is where we see Google kind of like give us all of it. We might get like call screen. We might get all of those Googly features, the faster dictation, all of that stuff. Cause that's, that's not on, on this watch at all. He said, man, I got the same wrist. <laughs> yeah, it's going to look right on your wrist, LaShawn. Because like I said, we got small wrists, dog. So it's going to look right on ours. Uh, Umar said, to be fair, I'm more annoyed that there is a subscription uh, for to an uh, analysis that is done on device. Are you talking about with the Fitbit integration? Yeah, like I said, I'm, I already got all that stuff for the most part turned off. And you know, honestly, because I, I don't track my sleep. I don't do any of that. That's why I generally don't mind charging every night. For me, where it really sucks is those overnight trips, right? Something like this, you got to charge this every night. Like I can, I can already tell for sure. Like based on people that have already had it for over a week and then just off of my experience today, I'm sure with time it might get a little bit better, right? Because you got to let it kind of settle in, but I can't see it going from like Google quoting 24 hours to I'm getting like, you know, a full day and a half or something. So I don't know. We'll see though. We'll see. He said edges on the seven seem a little sharp. Um, Ace, you're talking about on um, the edges here, right? MKVHD mentioned that talking about the seven because you have the normal seven, right? I have the pro. So for me, it's it's just smooth because of the, the edges, but you know, like the curved display. But um, yeah, dude, let me know if you have the seven because I heard some people were talking about that too and had that same experience. I'm not moving this off camera. Um, I'll move back to normal face cam. Y'all probably tired of the overhead. Uh, Genosis said Pixel 6 Pro was dead close with 10X. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. And the 10X, like I, I haven't, I'm not going to show y'all cause I'm working on a video for it, obviously, but, um, yeah, 110%. There is a difference between seven pro 10X and, um, six pro 10X. Like it, it's 10X on the seven pro is definitely clear. Like it's definitely clear. For sure. Hey, speaking of Drew Lips, what's up, man? Hope everything's good with you, dude. Hey, Sean, what's going on, man? What's up? What's up? What's up? Appreciate you coming through, dude. I remember you on Twitter. Appreciate you coming through, dude. He said that watch is looking nice on the wrist. Yeah, man. If you got if you got smaller wrists, yeah, you'll be fine, man. You'll be you'll be fine. Hey, Sean, what's going on, homie? He said, "What up to the most pleasant man in tech?" I try, dude. I try. I try. Oh, he said he charged my Pixel Watch to 100% at 5.56 p.m. It's now at 68%. Drew, are you serious? Golly, boy, that is insanity. Like, you dropped 32% in what? Four hours? No, not even. Three hours? Yeah, like three, like three and a half hours. Like, are, are you doing, like, like, any fitness tracking? Like, did you go for a run or exercise? Shoot, something? Cause that's snapping if it's just like on standby. Good God. No, Jason C, all of those like googly features. And me and you even talked about this. Like all those googly features that I kind of thought that they were just throwing in, like call screen, the faster assist and stuff like that is not there. Now, I don't know if it's not there because they can't shrink tensor down to watch yet. Maybe we need like a custom and maybe not like a custom tensor. Cause you don't want, all the power of the tensor in a watch. You don't need that. But like maybe like a custom version of whatever they're using on this, or I'm saying on this, like y'all can see. 
on this, like maybe a custom version, something smaller on this. So that way we can, you know, get all of those googly features, man. Cause I really would love to have call screen on the watch. Like you just tap the little call screen button. Like, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're looking at like the screen size, like, like maybe they feel like the screen size isn't big enough. I don't know. But that, that, that's a big miss in my opinion. Like not having like call screen, like the bare minimum in terms of like the Google features, like the voice dictation, the call screen, and like those would have been perfect on a watch to me. Now, if they said this is definitely a nightly charge type of watch coming from the Apple Watch. Oh, bro, I feel you, dude. Coming from the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, it's crazy. You're like, wait, what? Like on my on my Watch 5 Pro, I would end a day with like 80%, bro. Maybe like 75, 80%. And like this, I'm not even through a full day and I'm already at 46%. So, and I do, and I, and we, as Team Pixel, we do have the LTE models. That's obviously going to play a part into it too. I have LTE active on mine. Drew, have you activated cellular on yours, dude? Please tell me you have. Please tell me you have, dog. Uh, Sean said, I wear two watches now. I'm curious into which watch I'll prefer. Just upgrade it to the Apple Watch Ultra on one wrist and we'll be switching... Uh, to the pixel watch over my galaxy watch oh, okay that's what's up sean so I, I yo don't even when it comes to battery dog it's not even close like it's not even close it's not even a fair fight bro it's not it's not yo drew facts a lot to like about it i love it like i love this watch but that battery <laughs> ain't it chief it's not it bro it's not it um, a said regular pixel seven here and yeah, they're ever so slightly sharp when you swipe off the screen. It's a tiny, uh, it's a tiny scrape. Okay. So it is the, the normal seven. Dang, that, that kind of sucks. I mean, is it like sharp to where it's like uncomfortable? Like, like if you like swipe over the edge or something, I'm just curious. I'm, I'm sure it's not an issue, but I'm just, I'm genuinely curious. You're just sitting around the house. No. Okay. That kind of sucks. Okay, you did set up LTE. That, okay. Whew, because I was like, wait, if you don't have LTE, bro, your watch will be dead in like three hours. Oh, man. Yo, Drew got a rogue watch. Oh, facts. Facts, LaShawn, because that's crazy. Oh, so you're pushing like always on display and everything. Okay, I got you. So I may order another one to see if it's the one I got. This is rough. Yeah, because like, it, it seemed a little too bad honestly but then again i can't say that because like i'm using um i'm not using always on display um because it's like if i don't if i have my wrist turned like this i don't really need to you know i don't need my watch to be on or nothing but yeah i, I don't maybe it's that's what it is i don't know dude that's crazy though Eesh. uh johan said darn i was waiting on that too it would have been a deal breaker if google added screen call features and the hold for me features on the watch so you could that's what i'm saying johan and the thing is, I wonder if they can add it in software. And at, at least for when you're connected to Bluetooth, right? And, and hear me out on this. The reason why I'm saying that is because when you take a call, when you hit like that phone call button, it's just relaying the call from your phone. So in, in my opinion, I feel like if they want to do call screening, they should just add a little call screen button. And then, you know, the same way a, another screen pops up and it's transcribing, you know, you just can scroll through the transcribe on your watch. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what, what the miss is for that. But when, if we get to do a team pixel like um, like event where we get to like talk to the people who made the phone and stuff, I'm definitely asking that about the pixel watch. Like, was there a particular reason why they didn't add those, you know, kind of Google staple features? And I'm also asking about pulse width, pulse width modulation accessibility features for um, Jason C. Those are the two things off rip I know for a fact I want to ask. If, if we get to do that. I don't know if we'll get to do that this year. Uh, Malik said, ran into my bug with Instagram Reels. Honestly, this is day one, so I'm not even mad. What what what, what um, bug, Malik? I, I don't use Instagram, so I'm just curious, dude. We should spread it. Make sure, you know, anybody that has that issue or whatever, that way Google can fix it. Hey, Tan Hut, Savage is in the building. What's going on, man? What's up, what's up, what's up? Uh, they said, my Ultra has been off the charger for 12 hours and sitting at 91%. Pixel Watch is at 38% in the same amount of time, but it's not a fair comparison. Yeah, no, exactly, El Jefe. Yeah, it's one of those things where, where for sure, like on the Ultra and the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, they're significantly bigger watches. So I expect battery life to be better, but 
I mean, we, we got to talk about it because we want Google to get to that point as well. So 100 percent, dude, you do want to you do want to show the difference. Oh, he said it's noticeable. OK, yeah, that that does kind of suck, dude. That's what I said. That's how to watch for a classic LTE model was dying in two hours. Yeah, dude. So I, I think it might just because that battery size is just too small. Yo, slang, what's going on, homie? Hope everything's good with you, dude. Hey, what's going on, Jason? Hope everything's good with you too, man. Drew said, I use LTE. I do get a lot of notifications, but I don't really do much with them. Could be my next cams always. Oh, true, true, true. Yeah, it could be. It could be. That's still kind of crazy though, Drew, that, that it's like that, you know, bad. I've seen another video where they mentioned the reg. Yeah, I saw MKBHD and I can't remember the other creator that mentioned it, but I, I saw two people mention that. The 7 Pro, though, is fire. They fixed a ton from the 6. Yo, same. And like I said, we kind of took a 30-minute detour talking about it. But yes, bro, we absolutely going to talk about that. Because I, I wanted to make a list for everybody, but I, I didn't have enough time. So I'm going to go off the top where, where I can like immediately say that I noticed. Uh, you will probably need to look at the SDK. There should be a way to extract text from the call screen. Hmm, interesting. I'll leave that to Google, though, to, to figure out, man. I, I ain't smart enough for that savage. Hey, Louie, what's up, man? He said, hey, what up? He said, hope all is well. My son just received his. It's too small for my wrist. Nice, though. Yeah, Louie, for us small wrist people, we're good. We're good. Uh, Gen 2 Pixel Watch give us two options, a larger model, bigger screen, and battery, and then keep the smaller one. Bam. Couldn't have said it better, Drew. That's literally... Like, if, if Google were to come to me and say, okay, we're working on Gen 2, if you can only have, you know, two things, those would be my two things. And they wouldn't have to change anything else about the watch for right now, for right now. Because remember, it's only been a day. So I'm sure that there's other stuff that I'll find that I'm not too fond of. Hey, Mims, what's going on, homie? I know you just unboxed your 7 Pro. Got Aunt Hazel in the building. Aunt Hazel. So we got Aunt Hazel, which is the hazelnut colorway. We got Snow, which is the beautiful, the only color that matters. And then the black one, I was going to call it Onyx, like Onyx. I think that that sounds pretty hot. You got that uh, Hazel, you got that Snow, and you got that Onyx, bro. Let's go. That Those, those are the pixel names. Let's get that started. Uh, Johan's like, I know Google's like, man, if y'all don't get off our back, it's our first watch. Yo, I feel so bad, bro. Like, yeah. But I, I feel like this is what they, you know, give us devices to tell them. is like, yo, this is the stuff that's not working. Change it. So if anybody can do it, Google can, man. Yeah, yo, you know we talking about the ultra wide because, man, it's, it's, it's a crazy difference. The playback video colors were real off. Nothing an update would take care of. Like on YouTube, Malik, on YouTube, Reason why I say that, I was watching Tech Tablet's video camera comparison. And some of his like camera comparisons, or not camera comparisons, some of his like samples, some of them looked like super washed out. And I wasn't sure if it was my screen or something. I might have been tripping. It might have been me. Oh, you're talking about Instagram. Okay. That's why I was like, wait, wait, wait. I think I might have, yeah, but nah, I'm I'm tripping. It's okay. It, it's it's a me thing. It might have been his video. Um, a says swiping from the bottom you don't notice but left to right yes more oh because you're left you're a lefty yeah that does suck i wonder do you have any cases for it, ace if you put a case on it does that go away or do you like still kind of feel it? I, I would think it would go away i'm just curious i mean it doesn't excuse it but i'm, I'm just genuinely curious mm -mm. mem said laugh out loud on hazel i have an aunt named hazel so that's what made me think of it Aunt Hazel, that's the name, bro. That's the name. You better respect it. Snow, yep, yep. Snow is clean. Snow. Yeah. Delvon says, still here. I'm getting the Pixel Watch because why not? I'm a Pixel guy. But I will miss the Tick Watch five day battery life. And no, Hazel is the best color. Don't trip. Yo, I'm standing on this. I'm standing on this hill with all my homies. It's my 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 Snow brothers, Lenny, Barry. We've been talking about this white Pixel since I O. The white is the way to go, son. The white is the way to go, Delvon. No further questions. My name is Isaiah and I approve this message. 
hazelnut in the building let's go but all of the colors were dope this year though i think the black looks really good uh the black is is my third no yeah the black is my third uh like pick out of all of them like obviously white's number one hazel's number two and then the black one is number three for me <laughs> we here at team pixel are willing to give this first gen watch a fair shake facts i'll have faith facts uh the only thing i don't like is they have um ALMS Fitness. I'm not sure what the ALMS is, B Floor. You're gonna have to educate your, your homie. You know I'm a little slow. Said fitness analysis locked behind a paywall. Guided workout fine, but fitness uh, analysis, neither Samsung nor Apple does that. Okay, so then that, that'll be some good feedback. Is it through like the um the Fitbit kind of integration? Because I know Fitbit, like they have their whole subscription model and all that other good stuff. So is it anything to do with that? I know you know you'll know better than me. Johan said, oh, okay, you got an odd name here so that makes sense. Respect, respect. Yeah, man, that's the only reason I thought of that. Hey, man, I'm going to be looking at that uh, unreleased tick watch too whenever they do drop it. I know they're working on it with that new uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear processor. I'm I'm keeping my eyes out for that. Tick watch Pro 3, is, it was still my like go-to before the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro came out. Like The tick watch is such an underrated brand. Only thing that I don't like about them is no wireless charging and their haptics are just not good in my opinion. I don't know about the 3 Pro, what is it? The 3 Pro Ultra Delvon that you had? I had the normal TicWatch Pro 3 and the haptics were not there on that watch at all. I like Hazel. I like that Hazel too. There you go. Lemon. Okay, so for the normal 7s, um, only different color is lemongrass, right? I mean, the lemongrass is cool. It's not, you know, up there for me. If I had to put that one in there too, I probably would have said um, lemongrass might have been, you know, my, my, my uh, fourth choice in all honesty. I think I would put the black over that for me personally. <laughs> Bring me those haptics. Facts. Like I would sometimes like miss notifications here and there because it just wasn't strong enough. And then when it, you know, like when I did feel it, the vibration was really mushy. I have faith, you a whole fool. <laughs> Don't we all, oh, son? A said, I've got a, oh, a rinky case. Nice. He said, I've not put it on yet, but I wondered the same. Yeah, yo, if you're going to unbox it, I mean, I know you're probably doing a video, but just let me know. I'm just genuinely curious, man. Okay, so the Ultra's haptics are meh as well. Okay, cool. I want to make sure I'm on the same page with that. Yeah, I'm sure that, that they'll get better, though. My, my voice seems pretty, like, willing to take feedback. Like, um, I was talking to Galen. You know, he's, like, the smartwatch dude. And he was telling me, because he, he's he got a plug over, I think, with my boy, where, where they've sent him out one, too. And he was saying haptics is something that they're interested in taking a look at, too. Uh, Louis said, I'm all about tech and stock Android. The Apple Watch Ultra is really messed with me. Hey, Louis, I can't blame you, dog. In all honesty, the look of it, it is really, really big, but it's starting to grow on me, man. I know on my small wrist, it'll look huge, but I, I don't mind like a big looking watch in all honesty. I rocked the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro all the time and it was fine. But um, the Apple Watch Ultra is dope, dude. It's dope. It's dope. I, I was definitely, you know, concerned and sus about the battery life on it when they first was quoting the battery. But everyone that I know that I trust, you know, to give factual information and everything i've said they're getting three days easy so that's what's up I, I i can vibe with it dude three day minimum is like well three days is the minimum i feel like a watch should give you because that could cover you for like a weekend trip like you get 100 percent on friday you know you go all day friday all day saturday all day sunday you know you come home on sunday evening throw it on the charger Uh, a said, okay, I got it. On Pixel 7, if you swipe into the phone from the side slash bottom, you don't really feel the edge, but swipe from screen out, you feel it. Okay, bet. <laughs> Years from now, Ike will be rocking the fold on his wrist. If I could fit one on there and fold it, absolutely. Absolutely. But yo, let's go ahead and get into just some of the things that I noticed, like just kind of right off the bat. So um, for those that didn't catch Galen's uh, space, Definitely go check out the replay. Go go check out the replay. Um, let me throw this on. Yo, Sean, appreciate the retweet, dog. Let me put this on. Do not disturb. Yes, I was checking out the GOAT. Soldier knows best. Checking out his little hands on before the stream. Um, but one of the things I noticed right away in those that have Pixel 7 and 7 Pros, let me know if, if y'all feel the same. And I couldn't describe the word for it. Shout out to Ramal. He, he was able to help me out in the space. 
but it feels more dense, right? The Pixel 6 Pro, where's my, here it is. So my 6 Pro, it's not necessarily, like it doesn't necessarily feel like a toy, but it feels kind of hollow. Like it feels hollow, like there's nothing inside the phone. And I guess for some people, like that feels okay to them, right? But, but for me, I like a dense feeling phone. I like my phone to feel substantial in my hand, pause right like like I, I i like that right it makes you feel like you're holding on to something really premium re really really built well right so like i said it wasn't necessarily a knock on the pixel 6 pro but just definitely something that i noticed right off the bat like right off the bat shout out to the leather skin the d brand leather can't wait till my grip comes in for the 7 pro the bell roy too as well keeping my bell roy case that's my baby love that bell roy um, but yeah, so that was definitely one of the things that I noticed right away in terms of like the build was it, it feels significantly, you know, more dense. Um, next, I guess we can talk, it kind of unlocked there, y'all saw, because the face unlock is, is really, really fast in all honesty. Um, I have mine set to, it stays on the home, I mean, on the lock screen, kind of like the iPhone would. I don't, I, I just, I don't want it to skip right into the home screen. I, I don't want it to do that. It just feels weird to me. I like to action my notifications generally from my lock screen. So yeah, face unlock is dope. You can obviously set that either way, whatever one you prefer. Fingerprint sensor is like, it's not way faster. Like it's not way faster, but it's definitely faster than the 6 Pro. And I say it's more consistent. Now on Android 13 with my Pixel 6 Pro, the fingerprint sensor got, you know, good. This I think is like right in line with how I feel about fingerprint sensors from say like OnePlus or Xiaomi. I think those might still have a slight edge, a slight edge in speed, but in terms of like consistency, I feel like the Pixel is definitely there. Um, I still would love to see them go to the Ultrasonic Max fingerprint sensor that's on the Vivo X80 Pro. Yeah, the Vivo X80 Pro. Um, it has like the whole bottom surface area almost is fingerprint sensor. So like you could theoretically put your finger over here and still unlock your phone. Like that's what I want. Cause the bigger that landing zone is the faster, you know, you're going to get into the phone, right? So fingerprint sensor, that was definitely something that I noticed. Also the little animation thing is a little bit smaller too. Like some people were saying, oh, the, the, the landing zone is smaller. And it's like, no, 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 no. The landing zone is the same just the little visual cue is smaller on it. Do I have my Pixel 6 Pro booted? I'm gonna boot this up so I can kind of show y'all what I'm talking about. But yeah, the landing zone feels the same because you don't have to have it, you know, exactly on it to unlock. But the, the little animation visual thing looked a little smaller to me. I guess we'll be able to look at it here. Maybe it's not. Here, let me unlock that. One second, y'all, for science, for science. Okay, chill out. I know my SIM card ain't in there. Oh yeah, no, it's definitely smaller. Y'all can see that. I know the wallpapers ain't the same. Let me throw on the clutch. Y'all already know about this. The AMOLED what live wallpaper. Go show the man that made this joint some respect and download that live wallpaper. Best one on the app store, period. But anyway, um, yeah. You could definitely see it. It is a little bit smaller. Like the actual little visual cue is a little smaller, but it feels more consistent and it feels faster to me. Ever so slightly though. Not a reason to generally upgrade in my opinion. Like, like I wouldn't say, you know, the fingerprint sensor is so bad on this, you gotta go get this. Like, nah, it's not. Um, B Floyd said, love the Android community. One day with the Pixel Watch being out, they already ported the watch faces to other devices. I saw that dog, I saw that. I would love to get some of these on my, um, Galaxy joint like that one right here. I really really vibe with this one You got that half dial with three complications on the side I think that that just looks so clean to me so clean minimalist first time on a Wear OS watch that I am NOT rocking marine commander. So yeah Oh, how face I showed up two minutes before Galen entered the space. Yeah, you gotta go check out the replay It was some good conversation for sure a said that clean setup on the pixel. I see you. A gotta keep it clean and minimalistic for sure, dog. I always try to keep it clean and minimalistic. Delvin said it does feel that way. Yeah, the more dense for sure. 
Urban Fire said, I don't like the fact that Google sat back and watched Samsung and Apple for years and they didn't come out swinging. I definitely agree. Um, there, there was always kind of something going on with Pixels, I would say, before the 6 Series. 6 Series is where we finally saw that paradigm shift. You know what I'm saying? So definitely dope in that one. Let me see. So I got notifications coming through. So chill, son. All right. There we go. <clears throat> uh, one UI 5 allows you to stay on the lock screen. Yep, same thing on the Pixel as well. Like you can choose whichever one works best for you. I like that. Um, thank you for your, I didn't order anything Chipotle. Oh, that's from yesterday. We did have Chipotle yesterday. I'm like, why am I just getting this? I forgot it's on the 6 Pro. Definitely got a chunky feel to it. Yes, sir. Fingerprint better, I agree. Definitely good enough. Yeah, definitely. I would say it's like a fraction of a second behind Samsung's ultrasonic and like to the degree that I would notice it if I just unlock both devices like without holding them side by side I honestly wouldn't tell yeah same Marine Commander is clutch dog they probably made the animation smaller to try to get folks more exact with the fingerprint yeah with the finger placement I agree 100% BG because people was like all over here talking about why my phone not unlocking why my phone not unlocking it's like dude you're not even hitting the right surface area I was talking about the watch. I see what you're saying. Ah, I mean, I don't know. I definitely would have liked to see better battery life out the gate in two sizes, a bigger size and a smaller size for sure. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I've been an iPhone user majority of my life and the Pixel 6 series was a device that made me say, okay, I need uh, I need to add a secondary Android device in my life. That's what's up, dog. Android, the, well, Android, uh, Android phones, not Android phones. The Pixel series, if anyone's coming from iOS, the Pixel is usually the first thing I recommend them go try. Because I feel like they both have, and I said this on a previous live stream, they both have the same kind of in-game goals, like in terms of like what they look for, like the sim like the simplicity, minimalism, not too many, you know, frills, not a lot of fluff. Like they both have that same, you know, thought process. They just get there, you know, from different, you know, um, lanes on, on the same highway. So Pixel is usually what I for sure say go for. Uh, the live wallpaper that I'm running is called um, Amoled Live Wallpaper, right? It's just Amoled. If you go to Play Store, Amoled Live Wallpaper. Just type that joint in and you should be good. I don't know why that didn't take me to the Play Store. That's weird. <laughs> They say you can always give some feedback to Google. They always listening. And speaking of that, yo, honestly, every area that I feel like I mentioned in my Pixel 6 Pro, like revisited one year later, I feel like they addressed it, right? So I kind of was thinking about some of the things that I, you know, wanted them to change. Now the back is still glossy. I still want them to go matte. It doesn't look as crazy on the white model because white tends to hide fingerprints a little bit better. But like on the black, the hazel, you definitely notice the fingerprints a lot more. So Matt, they still didn't change that. I'm still holding out for, for next year. Um, but yeah, Matt back, I still would have liked for them to switch that. I did say something about the ultra wide. And not only did they make the ultra wide wider, they also gave us autofocus and macro mode. So that's super dope. The ultra wide photos out of this thing during daylight has been absolute fire. Uh, low light, if I don't use, and sometimes even when I use night sight, a couple of the photos I took were a little noisy. Um, I still need to test it a little bit more to see definitively, but ultra wide is definitely on par with the, the best in the business right now. Like if I had to say like versatility wise, I think Pixel is a really strong contender for being, you know, one of the most versatile camera setups that you can get. Like the zoom is absolute fire. The ultra wide with the updates that with the updates that they brought to it, absolute fire. And their main sensor was already fire. I think I have the cameras backwards, but their main sensor was already fire. So it's like, man, like they just overall made made the phone a more complete phone, a more complete camera system, right? Things like the modem, which which was causing overheating for me, that seems to be taken care of. Literally, I was um walking around my neighborhood during the whole Twitter space with Galen and the rest of the fellas, I was on 5G the entire time. 
I never dropped 5G and my device never got overly hot. And I'm on 5G and I'm in a Twitter space. Twitter space makes everything heat up, just like Genshin Impact. So, so far, man, I'm definitely, definitely impressed, man. All the things that I, you know, talked about and wanted them to change and update, they did. Except for the back design. I still want matte, Google. Give me an all matte black Pixel 8 Pro. My Lord, I might. If y'all send me that as Team Pixel, I might still go out and buy another one. Just saying. All matte black. So I said, if I didn't go Pixel, I was very close to getting a Samsung Fold. I love what I see with that device. Yeah, the Fold 4 is absolute fire, dude. I absolutely love mine. Just know what you're getting into going in is, is what I'll say, right? Um, and the reason I say that is just because there's certain aspects of like premium, like premium flagship phones that we've gotten used to. Things like more versatile and just better cameras, better battery life, stuff like that, right? Having ops or uh, ops, having apps already optimized, right? There's still a long way to go for foldables in that regard. Like the cameras still need to catch up, battery life still needs to catch up apps being optimized especially for the fold and it's even better or not better it's even worse on some import devices we're, we're waiting on app developers to start optimizing their apps for these foldable devices man so with that one like i said the only thing i would say is definitely know what you're getting into but if you if that is your jam like like i said i love foldables if that's your jam you will mesh with it very well and you'll love it you'll absolutely love it uh, Johan said, I like that at least Google chose colors that would hide fingerprints. They did that with the Pixel 6 series as well. I don't get that many fingerprints on my 6A. Yeah, good point. Uh, Sean, I stayed with the Z Fold 3, didn't get the 4, still rocking Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. Also have the 13 Pro Max, debating on getting the Apple Watch Ultra. Go ahead and pick up that Apple Watch Ultra, Louis. Go ahead and treat yourself, man. But yeah, Louis is 100% right. If you have, and Johan is another one. He, he's a regular, Sean, I'm telling you. He comes through and he's still rocking his Z Fold 3 because I'm going to be honest, from Z Fold 3 to Z Fold 4, I did that upgrade. You kind of hustling backwards a little bit. Just, just, just a little bit. The homie Sean would say, you hustling backwards just, just a little bit. Now, there's certain aspects of the Fold 4 that if you absolutely have to have that, it's going to be a cool upgrade for sure, right? Um, but the thing is, you really have to want those upgrades, right? Like the cameras are definitely better, but it's like the Fold 3 doesn't take terrible photos, right? So it's one of those things where it's just like, eh. Foldables, you definitely got to know what, what you're getting yourself into. But it, they, they are a fantastic, um, like, smartphone form factor, in my opinion. I can't wait to see what Google does with that form factor, too. You know what I said? What is it going to take for these developers to optimize for the foldables? It's A, something, Johan. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Because if I look at Twitter one more time and it's still not optimized for the fold and everything's just blown up, I might legit lose my patience and lose my mind. Like... It's ridiculous, yo. But anyway, um, hold on. Mrs. is talking about the little one here. She had to take her to the urgent care, something for her ear. Hold on. Okay, cool. All right, cool. So yeah, little one does unfortunately have an ear infection, but she doesn't have a fever, thankfully, so she won't have to stay home from school. Just some antibiotics, you know, all that good stuff. But anyway, Back to what we were talking about with um, the things that I noticed, right? So that that's pretty much for the design. Brightness for the display, A1. I'm here in Florida. I'm pretty sure El Jefe over in Cali could absolutely attest to this. The brightness, you definitely notice it. I had a couple of times where I would go out to Disney and my Pixel um, 6 Pro, I wouldn't have to do the whole cuff technique, but it would get really hard to see. Whereas with this, I've had absolutely zero issues, zero issues in terms of brightness. Now, do, do other phones get brighter? I'm sure they do. You know, I'm sure they do 100%. But I feel like once a phone gets past a certain threshold in terms of like the brightness, you're going to be able to see it clearly outdoors even in bright bright sun conditions so that's kind of where i'm at with that love the brightness kick and all of that good stuff always throwing out them bars brad 
Uh, Louis said, I have to say, I compare some photos with the 13 Pro Max and my Sun 7 Pro and have to keep it 100. The 7 Pro did look better, sharper. Yeah, generally, like for me personally, my, my Pixel is always taking significantly better photos than my um, iPhone. Like always, like it, it's always, ha always has for me personally. Um, oh, nice. One of my coworkers just watched the new episode or the Bleach new season. He's hype about it. I saw Bleach and, and I had to read that notification. Um, Juan said, oh, poor kiddo. I had tons of ear infections growing up. Yeah, man, like she's just started kindergarten. You know, like when they first start school, their, bot, like, their immune systems aren't used to, you know, a bunch of kids. And let's face it, all, all little kid schools are just disgusting, bacteria-filled, germ-infested places. So she's bound to get sick here and there. So she, her body's trying to adjust and get used to it at this point. Appreciate the, the well wishes though, homie. Johan said, oh, that's not good. Hope she gets better. Yeah, man, they definitely do suck. They definitely do. All right, so we got about six more minutes. Six more minutes, nine more minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of wrap it up with just a few other things that I did notice. Juan, yes, absolutely. Super filthy, disgusting. Um, no amount of Clorox on earth can can fix a, a kid's little school classroom area. I, I don't care what nobody said. My bad. So totally not the point. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, though. Um, yeah, so back to the top down. Um, let me go ahead and get into I talked a little bit about thermals. Um, I didn't like I said, feel it heating up any more than you know, not even saying anymore what I'm talking about. I'm all over the place. I didn't feel it heating up pretty much at all. The only time I really had any like thermals or anything like that, uh, where like, like they kind of spiked and it got hot is when I was transferring my data from my pixel six pro. And when I was, um, downloading like all my applications, it was like 134 apps, it did heat up then. But like I said, that's happened on my six pro it's happened on my galaxy. I think it's even happened on my iPhone. If I'm not mistaken, I don't, I don't honestly don't remember that far back. Um, but yeah, so besides that though, once it was done downloading, um, you know, all of the apps, downloading all the app updates, downloading a system update, cause we did get a system update as well. And I reboot it. Absolutely. No problem at all. So heating has been great. Um, another testament to that is Twitter spaces. Like I told y'all earlier, I was in a Twitter space for about an hour. It got warm, but never felt like uncomfortably hot. Like the six pro would do in Twitter spaces for me personally. Um, I want to talk about modem. I can't get too deep into it. Cause again, I, I've only been around my neighborhood with the phone. I haven't really taken it out and tested like speeds or anything. Um, for me, I'm more, I was more worried about the modem because I felt like that was a big proponent of what was causing overheating for me on my pixel six pro where it was trying so hard to like grab onto a signal and hold that signal causing some overheating issues. Um, so far, on LTE, on Wi-Fi, I've had no issues with it holding that connection. It's been stable. Phone calls are crystal clear. Everyone that I've talked to and asked, you know, how do I sound? Uh, they said, you sound great, you know, normal. So kudos to Google for that. No issues there. Um, cameras, I think I already kind of went over that too. Big uh, differences that I noticed. Obviously, we have more Zoom. The hybrid Super Res Zoom is also, a, is I won't say a lot, but it is better than the hybrid zoom on the Pixel 6 Pro. That's to be expected. We got 5X versus 4X. Um, the ultra wide, I do like the ultra wide. Macro mode, I haven't done a lot of testing. I've got, I've done like little things here and there, uh, but macro mode is here. You got your autofocus. Uh, quality, really, really good on the ultra wide and you know super bright lighting conditions like every other phone. The more light you lose, the more noisy that, that, that those photos are gonna get, obviously, but. Those are kind of the things so far, just like the first impressions um, that I can think of with 7 Pro. In all honesty, it feels very, very similar to the 6 Pro. If you're fine with your 6 Pro, like you're 100% fine with it, you're not having a bunch of bugs, you know, you're not experiencing overheating, your battery life is good. I'm not going to say definitively you don't need to upgrade, but I'm going to be honest. It's, it's a lot of the same. It's a lot of the same. A lot of polish, a lot of refinement. And I'll kind of leave it at that, right? Let's go ahead and get into these last few comments and questions, and then we'll go ahead and wrap it on up. We got Easy E streaming later on tonight at 10 o'clock sharp. 
Y'all are crazy. Kids are nasty. Johan, you're spot on. They do be picking their nose and it irritates me. Makes me so mad. <laughs> he said, hi, Ike. I just saw your video about the Bellroy leather case for the Pixel 6. Um, I just bought one recently for the 7. So I'd like to ask, how has it been since you brought it? Well, yo, speaking of it, I can kind of show it here for you. So I bought this case launch week of Pixel 6 Pro. So I've had this for, at this point, over a year. You can see, holding it up in the light, looks absolutely fantastic. Still looks pretty much brand new. Only real thing I can say is kind of hit. I had a nice little drop here. I'm going to try to get that in the light. And y'all can kind of see where it, you know, made a nice little dent. But I actually dropped the phone. Like, I was on a phone call, and it dropped from my hand, and it hit the side of the case. My phone was absolutely fine. Case just took a hit. So that's kind of the bell, Roy. Absolutely dope case. I have it ordered for the 7 Pro 2, and it's already shipped. I think it should be here Monday, if I'm not mistaken. Um, It's super po uh, pulse focusing, or focus pulsing. Blah, said that all backwards. Uh, agreed. Transferring data will make the device heat up. Yep. Same, Louis. Uh, is there a auto 5G? And if so, are you able to keep it on in that option without impacting battery life? Yo, Genosis, let's find out. I don't want to go too far over because I know Easy is about to go live, but let's find out. I know that's generally here. Da, da, da. Preferred network type. So they have 5G, LTE, 3G, and 2G. Those are your options for cellular network. So same as what was on the 6 Pro last year. I uh, almost pressed the stop streaming button. I am losing it. He said, also, I quit showing me the back of that phone. Making me want one. Yeah, I love the white, dude. If Team Pixel didn't send me the white, I was going to go out and buy myself a white and a white one and just trade in the 6 Pro. Because I really wanted the white this year. I saw some Zoom photos from Jay from the 30 times Zoom. Yep, exactly. Nice and clear. Nice and clear. Nice and clear. I think in daylight, the Galaxy might still pull ahead a little bit. But yeah, it for having only a 5X versus a dedicated 10X, I think it looks really good. Uh, this year seems to be all about refinement and improving quality of the existing features. I think that that's a running theme for all devices this year too, dude. S22 Ultra was a refinement. Z Fold 4 was too. Um, Pixel 7 Pro is. iPhone 14 Pro Max is trying to be. Uh, but yeah, definitely refinements here and there. He said, Denny Widget did a comparison between the 6 Pro and 7 Pro. They're very close. If you don't care for the cinematic video, keep your 6 Pro. Yeah, there, like I said, there, there are a few kind of goodies to have, you know, with the better ultra wide and things like that. But again, if, if you have a 6 Pro and you're totally enjoying your experience, you probably don't need to upgrade. And that's okay. He said, Paze said, thanks for, and I'm not pronouncing your name right. Is it, is it, is it Paze? I'm just going off and kind of assuming. But he said, thanks for answering. My case is coming Monday as well. Nice, dude. That's what's up gonna be rocking them together i went with black again this year i went with black again this year again hazel stop tripping bro <laughs> oh umar time out you mean 4k 60 sir where have you been hold on i got something dope to show you i i gotta show this and i promise we gonna wrap up so video i'll throw uh my sony battery Oh, Pays. Okay, Pays. Cool, cool. I'll make sure I pronounce that right going forward, man. So look, um, oh no, no, my bad. This is 4K30. Time out. 4K60 video. 4K60 video. Let me make sure I got this on the overhead so y'all can see. All right, so I'm taking 4K60. You see, you still got your little options there. And generally that means it's just gonna crop in on the sensor digitally, right? That's the ultra wide. It's the optical actual ultra wide. 5X, boom, snaps into the 5X optical. Obviously my lighting ain't the best, but for this anyway. So yeah, totally. Cause switch between the lenses in 4K60, 4K60. I don't think I have any other phone that can do 4K60 and switch between all your lenses. Samsung switches between the lenses at 4K30 and you could do the selfie camera. I wish Google would have threw that in. That would have been like the, the coughing, like the nail in the coughing. But yes, you can switch between, uh, you can switch between all your camera lenses at 4K60, which is dope, which is dope. 
This is why I'm contemplating sticking with my Pixel 6. Pixel 7 battery is smaller. I don't need the pro features. Yeah, MPT, 100%, dude, you can do that. I just bought my pops a Pixel 6, and bro, he's loving it. He's loving it. Um, How is speech to text for you? Do you feel it's better than the 6 series? I honestly feel like it's about the same. Let me throw up a Google Keep note real quick, and we can kind of play around with it together. Uh, top down with reaction. So yeah, this is a test of the Pixel 7 Pro's voice dictation just to see if it's a little bit faster than the Pixel 6 Pro. Uh, seems about the same to me, but I'm gonna pick the 6 Pro up and we're gonna test them out. So you see how fast that was. Let's go ahead and do this. Last thing y'all, I promise, man. We gotta, we gotta get over to Eric Stream. I do this every week, I'm sorry. All right, hold on. Let me do the same thing. All right, so we got voice dictation on both. This is a test of the voice dictation on both the Pixel 6 Pro and the Pixel 7 Pro. They honestly are exactly the same. Still super fast, still super dope in terms of the uh, voice dictation and all of that other good stuff. Looks like we dropped some frames there, but we should be back. This is the voice text, voice test with the Pixel 6 or Pixel 7 Pro. So there you got it, exactly the same. All right. Uh, don't the iPhone switch in 4K60? No, Brad, it does not. It cro you can, I think it crops into the sensor if you zoom in. And if you start shooting 4K60 on the ultra wide, I think you can go to the main lens and that's it. And it might be a crop of the ultra wide. I'm honestly not sure how that works. Uh, that X90 Pro will most likely be my next device, and I just can't help that I want that Vivo experience back with that V chip. Yeah, the Vivo X90, man, that's one I also want to look at. I probably won't be able to pick one up, but yeah, that, that's one I definitely got my eyes on for sure, MPT. But with that, we're going to go ahead and start wrapping it up. So we do have Easy e Pretty sure he's live right now, so we're all going to go over and show him some love. Then we have TK Bay and Juan. I'm not sure if they're doing it tonight or tomorrow, but just in case... Best of our week, they should be doing that about 11.15 usually, or it'll be tomorrow. Obviously, you know, we'll all let y'all know. We'll keep it up to date. And then also tomorrow, I'm pretty sure Tech Valor is going to be going live at 8 p.m. So y'all come through and show Tech Valor some love to the homie. And then y'all already know how it goes down. Open mic night at 9 p.m. sharp with Holla at Your Boy, a.k.a. LaShawn. And I know... Barry and LaShawn just got their pixels, so y'all know we're going to have some fun tomorrow night. So that's the lineup. We keep telling y'all. Oh, Slang on Saturday. I'm pretty sure Slang is going to be on Saturday, too. Don't forget to check out the homie Slang, too, man. Slang be doing, be doing the damn thing as well. So shout out to y'all, man, for a dope stream as always. I love coming out and linking up with you all. It's always one of the highlights of my week. Today's also my Friday because it's my birthday week. Ah, my birthday weekend, so... No more work for me until Tuesday. So I'm going to be going out and putting this pixel to work. Stay tuned for coverage. Have a good evening, everybody. Absolutely love y'all. As always, this is Ike's Tech Talk. I'll catch you all in the next live stream. Peace.